How you doing? This is Yaakov with a beautiful idea. May everyone who's listening merit and also who's not listening to be able to be victorious in all the places that they're desiring, in all the places, in all the times, in all the positions that people find themselves in. May everyone be able to enjoy from the true success of life. So we find, um, actually one of the things I wanted to speak about in this video, actually the main thing I want to speak about in this video, is uh, is uh, being vict- victorious. And this is a kind of victory, I want to speak about there are two kinds of victories. One, where it's a victory out in the open, it's in the public scene. And two, a private, the private scene. I'll tell you what I mean. Sometimes we're learning something. Um, uh, sometimes we're learning pieces of information that that let us know that how precious it is, let's say to, to not respond when being embarrassed, uh, or sorry, not re- not respond and being when being um, rebuked publicly. <clears throat> we learn how great uh, to be able to, to be quiet, at the right times are. Or to be able to have the proper reaction, to be able to use your, uh, to be able to use your your brain when you can, to be able to remember to use your your faith when you can, because um, every situation you need to know what to do, how to respond, what's your responsibility as well. There are times that we're not permitted to be silent. We shouldn't be silent, but you always have to respect everybody. Okay, so let's start with a public public victory. There's a time that you know you answering back somebody. Is not appropriate. Um, somebody started yelling at you. You know, if in public, in front of let's say fifteen, twenty people, especially minimum, um, even less, to answer back would just cause a bigger ruckus and would make a bigger issue. So in that situation, person is able to recognize the truth of the situation. By me answering back, it's not gonna do anything. If I whisper, if I if I say something, whatever it is, the person is going to use it for another excuse, another excuse to be able to to, uh, to argue with me, or to or to make the uh, situ- the argument stronger and to come fire back further. Um, so you see, uh, to be quiet in that situation is a very very tremendous thing. Yet we find it can be easier, depending upon who we are and what circumstance we're in. Um, that could be one of the easiest situations. Uh, what well, it could be, I'll tell you why. One of the reasons is because in a public scenario, you feel like I gotta do this, I gotta fulfill this because it, it, like it's public, it's it's uh, I have to I have I'm pressured to fulfill something, especially out in public, where I need, where in public I can get credit. So to a certain degree, there's a certain peer pressure to perform properly so if you're a part of a group peer pressure is to answer back and to get angry and to fight so that's what the person would do if you feel you're a part of a group of the and feel peer pressured into being quiet so um, obviously that's the be- best thing but there's a lot of external um there's a lot of external <clears throat> motivation from the peers from people that are surrounding you to do the right action so that's the first thing but but it, by the way, it's a very tremendous thing. It's one of the biggest things on earth, to especially doing it publicly, not answering back. If you're embarrassed, or if you're if you're gonna yell back, or if it's gonna just cause big problems, uh, bigger problems, I should say. Uh, it's amazing to to hold your tongue. Number two, part two is is not answering back. Uh, the silent victories where nobody's there. It's just you, one other person, or you and yourself. And you're humiliating yourself, you're calling yourself names, and you don't pay attention to it. You start to realize it's the Sahara. You start to realize that you know you're not going to argue with him this time. You're not going to get into debate with him or a friend privately, or a family member, or whomever that you're getting a private private uh, situation with. Uh, you're in a private situation, and 
and the same similar circumstances that person's embarrassing you person's trying to say something and you Vic, say the right thing or you hold yourself back from saying the wrong thing um so it would appear comparably speaking in both situations that you might be might feel more reward more like way uh, tremendously great um in public by being able to um to do the right thing not answer back or to say the right thing in public in uh, in front of people and in front and not in front of people so it's like it's great thank god like i did that but nobody's here to watch you know nobody's here in private to watch y you and your victory so you should know you should imagine when you are in in a private setting uh in in heaven um uh, let's say a stadium see a stadium of people playing football of a state whole stadium of, of benches of people watching the nba or whatever it is they're cheering on their team the one that just scored a huge slam dunk or a touchdown or whatever sport you like see how crazy the crowd grow, goes for uh, that person on their team that scored that goal well in heaven it's way bigger it's way way bigger than that because that's how because in a, de a deed is an eternal deed when you do something tremendous like hold yourself back from getting angry or you're you're answering a good answer to somebody who has a problem with you you're answering them a positive a encouraging answer an answer that only leads to something positive so again in the private setting you you're not going to see this uh loud a round of applause or or the, the impression that you made on other people in the public setting when you did the same right correct action so being as that that may being as that is a situation you should imagine the stadium of malachim of angels of of all of, pe of anybody in heaven your grandparents your parents whoever it is that's there just to be able to recognize how special it is what you did in a private setting where no one else saw and you realize the real truth is that you did the greatest thing because the highest thing is where you recognize that no one was there no one was there except for you and Hashem when when it's only Hashem involved in the situation or mainly Hashem where you in its private set setting so it's one of the greatest situations you show who you really are privately to yourself that you really do want these things that you do really want to continue to grow and that is your real desire you're not, you're not trying to impress anybody you just want to live a healthier happier and holier life and really make a greater impression on yourself and add to all of the encouragement that you're already learning and instead in this time you're encouraging yourself recognizing that Hashem is very proud of you that God is very proud of you that that uh, that really if all the right people were there they would be proud of you except this is a realization that has to come from you it is a self realization it is self validation and it's one of the most important important things so for everybody who wants to everybody we all want to study together we all want to learn together we all want to grow together we all want to impress each other but it starts with small with learning with yourself opening a book five minutes praying to God for five minutes doing these things privately trying not to um, anger people or uh, or put yourselves in situations to anger yourself more all of those situations which are private really within yourself between you and Hashem that only Hashem knows and you're willing to go out of your way you show Hashem you show God that really that you're you're you have holy pure intentions even if you fall afterwards in the situations where all everybody falls has ups and downs but when you show your will privately to God you're led publicly in that way as well it's way easier way easier it's way easier publicly to do the right thing when you're alone and you recognize how precious it is what you're doing don't think that you are a small person or that your deeds only go so far uh you know like they only go a few yards and that's it no they go way further 
I have my best friend, one of my really, really good, really, really good friends from New York. Um, his father gave a class, a class on Torah in a college like 30 years ago. And and he didn't even know if anybody was really listening in the class because um, he didn't know who's Jewish, who wasn't Jewish, who is Jewish, who who's interested in information doesn't matter. It wouldn't even matter if Jewish, not Jewish, and didn't, didn't care. And 19 years later, a, a, a guy, he met a guy that came up to him and said, you remember that class you gave 19 years ago? Yeah. Well, because of that one class, I'm here. And I started learning. I started praying. I started doing just from this one class. So really, you really have no clue. And that's just talking about the person that we do know that was affected. What about all those people that we have no clue who watched your video, who who watched you do something for your family while you're in the grocery store, who watched you do every anything, and you thought it was just you privately. You don't really know the effects of all of your private deeds, all of your private accomplishments between you and God. It's the silent victories that are so important, and the public victories will come. The public victories, we're not asking, we don't want fame. Fame is not something that we want. We want to make God's name famous. We want to make God's name fa God's name famous. So what we do privately, what we do publicly, is to make His name great. May everybody merit to do so. Everybody merit to their private and public victories and realizing the true battles that are won, the silent victories. You can hear. The, you can hear the people applauding you. You can hear. The, the heavens applauding you you just have to open your ears and listen to the real to the reality of all the good that you're trying to accomplish Hashem will help you God will help you all the people here will help you continue to do good deeds continue to try your best push forward, don't give up have a great night